John, how is the weather there at your place? It's good. It's good? Yeah. I mean, it's been raining a couple of days, but it's like 70s, 80s. So okay. it's nice. Yeah, we're in our coming into summertime. Yes, for us, it's a lot of uh, thunderstorm and power outage, a lot of uh, things happening in Houston. Fortunately, we got a generator, you know, two years back, we got, so we can manage. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm in a high-rise building, so I guess they would do whatever they do with the, the okay. power if it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so far this year, no, no power outages. Knock on wood. We were supposed to have a torn. We had a tornado warning yesterday, but mm -hmm. nothing happened. So, mm -hmm. so even in this bubble of illusion, all this looks so really you get affected. <laughs> yeah, you know, just like in a dream. If you were yes, dreaming yes. and there was a tornado in your dream, your little yes. dream body would be blown around and <laughs> definitely would feel the wind. <laughs> and that's why Maharaj says it's a five elemental body. There is going to be yes. disturbances in the five elements. Yes. By the nature of the five elements, there's yes. disturbance. There's, you know, and you're holding this five elemental body. So then. Okay, it's a disturbance in the five elements, but it has nothing to do with me. Mm, mm. I'm outside of the five elements. I'm prior to the five elements, and the five elements actually can't touch me or do anything to me at all. Mm. Mm, mm. Only the dream character can be affected in the dream. Mm -hmm. But all the discomforts is felt by the consciousness, am I right? Dream consciousness. The pain or the discomfort or the... Body is a sensory organism. Mm. So mm. you're receiving input through the senses, which in reality, you're not receiving... See, this sort of concept of body receiving sensations the one who's receiving the sensations who's processing through mind ego and intellect is outside of the entire process mm. because in the reality nothing's changed nothing's mm. ever happened nothing can happen it it's it's the same as the space in the room and many people come and go in this apartment of you know, okay, I, I'm here now, and 10 years from, from now, there'll be some other, well, maybe I'll be here, but 10 years in the past, then there was somebody and then other people cool. and all this. So the space in the room was always there, regardless of all the activity going okay. in and yes. out. Yes, yes. Children yes. coming in, different furniture coming in, uh, winter, summer, space is not affected. And it's not like if you open the door, the space will, oh, now the outside space is going into the inside of the inside going to the yeah. outside. There's no movement. The only movement takes place in the bubble of illusion, just as when you're laying down at sleep at night. Oh. A dream world is created and there's little dream people and everything is going on. But nothing's actually happening. You know, it's when you wake up, you know, yes. all of that came out yes. of formlessness. Yes. And only because of the little bristling I exist was this consciousness sort of exploding into a dream world. You're outside of this. And yet, Outside and inside is a concept used only in the body-based illusion to describe something massive. We say we're outside of this, but there's no outside because in reality, no outside, no inside. There just mm -hmm. is like the space. Mm -hmm. There's no outside and inside space. And the space here is the same as the space in India, is the same as the space in California, is the same as the space in England, in yes. France, in Russia. 
the space is not like moving. Got it, got it. Five elements can move within the space, the wind element and moving the seeming clouds. You see all the clouds are moving and oh. the clouds are moving past the sky. But the space in which all of this is actually occurring and can be perceived is not moving. Yes. And it's not like you can't say it's big or small because everything that's inside the space is not at all related to the space. Mm -hmm. And the reality, nothing is related to the, re the reality has no relation with the illusion. That's why even that first, that's, you know, now that we've done meditation for some time, we know the sense of presence. It's very evident. So we can eliminate the world. We can eliminate thinking. We can eliminate everything because, okay, just the sense of presence. And yet, you know the sense of presence. Whether the presence is here or not, I am. And the presence is like the first knowingness. They saw the primal illusion. After presence is known, so many things are known. The birth of the mm -hmm. consciousness and all the objects within the consciousness that are not true. And even after you say, okay, I'm not this body, the body form is still available, so you're going to see inside the illusion. You just now know, yeah. oh, it's illusion. It's not like my life and... All oh. these things are so serious and everything is happening because I know I'm not in it. Oh. Nothing can happen to the you that you are. That's why Sri Brahmakat Maharaj says, if you know yourself in the real sense, fear dissolves immediately. What is there to fear? Yes, this body, you have to protect this body. Like if we're having some troubles and you have to protect your body, you don't want this body to be damaged. It's the only body you're having in this moment that you're sort of able to view the illusion. Now, of course, you're all the bodies. Mm -hmm. So although you won't have this telescope available to see what's inside of this illusory existence, you'll still have many others available telescopically to continue but it's formless energy just moving everything around with the identification of oh i'm this person i'm that person i'm this one and that one and this one and exactly the same as in a dream in a dream tonight boom a park so many people in the park doing so many different things but no one's doing anything all the conversations that seem to be occurring are you all the people that are there are you. All the animals, all the flowers, all the butterflies, all the everything. So even if you see one of the little dream bodies fall into a lake and drown, <laughs> it has no effect on you. And nobody was drowned. See, John, that dream is so easy for me to grasp because... It happened and I'm on the bed laying down. So I know it can be true. But in this waking dream, unless I have a firm conviction I am formless, you get sucked into it. Am I right? I it's mean, like, you have a firm conviction you're formless, then this is the same as a dream at night. Yeah. If you don't have that conviction, it will it'll be a, more. it affects you more. If, if you say yeah. just intellectual... Understand. Oh, yeah. Intellectual yes. knowledge, if you just read books and say, oh, I'm the formless Brahmin. Or, oh, it oh, doesn't work. Out. No. That's why Maharaj says even, you know, on your deathbed, it's too late to be reading books or try to get to know yourself. You want to spend every waking moment with yourself until that clicks. Oh, so that I, I am that. Mm -hmm. And I can't be anything other than that because that is all there is. Everything else is just an illusory layer. And that, again, is if I sit here, instantly, presence is felt, because this is holding a body form. So this, this presence is here. Mm. Whether the body is here or not, presence is. Mm. This is known because you, 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 can, you can 
intuitively sense this presence is formless, much like dream consciousness. This is waking mm -hmm. consciousness. And there's a knower of this presence. The first knowing presence explodes, then everything appearing on presence. So to say that the illusion could affect you, even thinking intellectually, how? Because you know yourself in a real sense. Even if you haven't yet said, okay, this presence, I know this sense of presence, therefore I cannot be this. This is sort oh. of the first illusion. The first oh. thing that's known from the no knowingness arises a sense of knowing something other, this sense of presence. I exist. Oh. I am. So even if you're identified just with presence, which is like, okay, sitting in meditation, there's a sense of presence. You direct the attention to the sense of presence. It's sort of the nectar of immortality. You desire more of this. If you're sipping on the nectar of immortality, slowly, silently, and permanently, no concepts are able to be held because you're sitting with presence. And so now illusion is finished because you can even, even if you are just identifying yourself as a sense of presence, you are formless. You cannot be burned. You cannot be buried. Yeah. Nothing, yes. no birth, no death, not possible because it's just presence. So you even say, okay, this presence, that's what I am. Or even one step back, you could say, this presence is God. This is God, Brahman, Paramatman, Master. And, and this is the presence that has been labeled these things. The whole illusory world is automatically removed. That conviction is just, okay, I'm formless presence. After some time of knowing yourself as formless presence, then it's it's self-realization or self-recognition or self-evidence that the knower of the sense of presence. Through body form, I know I exist. Body is here or not here. The one who knows existence is. And this I am. That's where Maharaj uses the knock-knock on the door. Who's there? Nobody's there. Mm. But mm. somebody had to be there to say mm. nobody's there. Yeah. This sense of presence had to be known by I exist. Well, who knows the sense of existence? That whom existed prior to the sense of existence. Yeah. The sense of existence could not be known without there to be a knower. Yeah. So if I know that the illusory world is on the sense of presence, then I'm out. And once I know, okay, whether presence is there or not, I am. That's the black hole. That's the, yeah. if I just remain with my selfless self, eventually even presence becomes an object and awareness that is no longer yeah. observed or aware. And, and you can only, there's no words for this. This is like, yeah. you remain and it's, it's just, no concepts can come here. It is like the black hole. It just sucks in everything. Oh, I think, no, I just, I'm here. Mm. Oh, but this, no, here. Now from here, talk about spirituality. Mm. Talk about anything and try to make sense. Because mind, ego, intellect is not here. Mm. Here is prior to the concept of words arising, understanding or knowingness, or not knowing this, manifest or unmanifest, none of this, where, how? Mm -hmm. Where all experience ends, there you are. Even peace is a concept that can only be felt as a layer on presence. And you're prior to presence, therefore you're prior to peace. 
you cannot label that you are because there is no label unless you go through presence into the illusory world and try to grab a word. Yes. But why would you do this? Mm -hmm. And still, body is available. Scenes are appearing and disappearing, appearing and disappearing, appearing and disappearing. And, and they're all appearing and disappearing before you. There's nothing. And that's only in the illusion. Mm. The witnesser is witnessing false things. Nothing the witnesser witnesses is true because the witnesser <laughs> can, is created with the concept I exist and now yeah. I exist as a witness. Mm -hmm. Because the you that you are is not witnessing. There's nothing to witness. Within the mm -hmm. bubble of illusion, just as when you lay down a dream at night, yeah. all the little dream bodies are, quote, witnessing the dream. The perspective of the dream body witnessing the dream is not affected by the dream consciousness at all. There, there's no, there's no like, oh, the dream consciousness is looking through this and, and experiencing these things and this and that, but it's mm. experiencing universally. It's not actually experiencing individually. Yeah. No, we say this as a pointer to know that there is not universal. This universal was a concept that came along with the body that was a layer on presence. Yeah. And you're prior to all that, so all that can be removed. Or yeah. in a dream, you wake up in the morning, and who cares who was talking and what was happening and, <laughs> and, and where was this or that? Somebody tells you, make sure you walk the dog before you go to sleep in your dream. Yeah. Then yeah. you wake up. You're not saying, oh, I forgot to walk the dog. Oh, as a matter of <laughs> fact, I don't even have a dog. <laughs> I seemingly had a dog. Where did he go? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. And when you know yourself in a real sense, again, you do your job, you do your duties, take everything lightly. Scenes are appearing and disappearing before yeah. you. And, and seemingly just life is lifing. But you're no longer trying to hold on to anything. You're still paying your bills and paying your taxes and doing this and doing that, going to the grocery store, buying food, doing all these things. But there's no, like, bite to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, but still, if uh, with this understanding, if someone says something, but still that uh, it affects, right? Uh, so we should not be taking so uh, personally then. But there's no person. So, and, and when you yeah. remain with your formless self, mm. like even if you remain just as a sense of presence, it's like insults or someone saying something bad or good. It just yeah. flows through because there's not an object there that can hold, like, that can stick. There's no stickiness to the concept. Correct, correct. Because earlier, uh, it used to hurt me so much. Now, it's kind of uh, with this uh, 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 recognition, uh, feels like little discomfort. Then that slowly, it takes a little time and then it vanishes. Yeah. Just like wind. It's just like... Yeah. Okay, wind is felt a little bit, but it just mm. passes through. Someone gives you great insult, but there's no mm. concept of you. Who's being insulted and, and who's doing the insulting? Because there's no concept of you in the moment. Mm. Yeah. You have to be something. Again, mm. the hook. You have to have a hook to hang a concept. If there is no hook, nothing can hang on this. Nizagadatta Maharaj says, if somebody says I'm a very great saint, I'm not affected. Somebody mm -hmm. says you're a very bad saint, I'm not depressed. Because they're speaking about something that they believe is true, that you know <laughs> is not. Oh. Oh. And if there is an impression, then there's still a bit of ego there. Egoistic oh. sense of separation that, oh, I'm being attacked. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, recently, one of the incidents, it happened similar to that way. Um, uh, somebody pushed me very harshly. 
uh, very rude way so uh, it did not affect that moment later uh, after that the incident passed off i felt a little bit uh, annoying like personally it was felt like a little discomfort then uh, yeah a little agitation but slowly slowly it is yeah with this uh, recognition by sitting with myself it's slowly dissolving absolutely i mentioned a while ago when i used to ride the mark train everybody is pushing and shoving and doing all this stuff and somebody stepped on my foot but immediately yeah. my mind went to what are the thoughts about this there was nothing yeah. so then it just dissolved and then later of course it was like wow that was kind of a cool experience that because mine didn't say anything about the incident yeah. there was no yeah. offense there was no like Better. oh this is happening not that i enjoy <laughs> having people step on my foot <laughs> but in reality your presence is this energy this power is in this person stepping on your foot and you're feeling it but you're also stepping i think sidhar meshram maharaj says best about the scorpion there's yeah. a scorpion and it's biting and also you're being bitten and so it's both yeah. the presence in the man says whoa scorpion presence in the scorpion says whoa man but it's one and the same yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this just passes. Somebody says, oh, this is very bad. Oh, okay, okay. Now, if you're at work, that's a little different because oh. you're doing your job, you're doing your duties. Your boss comes to you and says, hey, you made a mistake on this and that. But see, even then, it, it it's more easy to admit and say, let me fix this because there's not a, a, a stirring of, oh my goodness, like he's going to fire me or he thinks I'm terrible at this or, oh, this is another mistake or, oh, I make so many mistakes or, oh, no, there's no train of thought like this. It's just, oh, let me fix. Okay, it's finished. And this is the reality. See, that's the most cool thing. We, if identified with a body form, create this concept and create this thinking process about things that aren't true and get involved in this thinking process, believing it as I'm in trouble or this is happening. Why do I make mistakes? I'm so stupid. Oh, I need more of this. Oh, my boss, I hope he doesn't find out that I make so many mistakes. I wonder how many mistakes he, I made that he didn't catch. All mm. of this. But when you know yourself in the real sense, boss, you, may, or you made a mistake, okay? Pick up, drink, put down. Okay, fix, finish, that's it. No mentation. Mm -hmm. And thoughts may be flowing. I don't know because you're not paying attention to these. Mm -hmm. Like again, it's like you see outside and it's color. And then here the mind is presenting black and white images of thoughts like TV. Because you know yourself in a real sense, you're formless. So all these form-based thoughts, mm. and, and mind can only, this is another thing you can catch, mind can only project, because mind came along with the body, mm. images, thoughts, and ideas mm. about the illusion. The mind will never give you a thought of anything other than the illusion. Correct. Because yes. it doesn't know prior to mind. Yes, yes. Mind is not a separate entity. That's where many people, and Maharaj says this, many people get confused about, oh, my mind is so powerful. I have to calm my mind. My mind. No, because mind is not a separate entity. Mind is an instrument that came along with the body that you are providing power for. And if you do not provide the power, then the mind, the flow of thoughts is like, it, it just ceases. It, 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 oh. There's... Oh. Unless it's, of course, you're at the grocery store. Like today, it was uh, buy two uh, uh, barbecue sauces or whatever, get three free. But the two <laughs> were kind of expensive. And I said, hmm. So I had to sit and think about that for a minute. Okay. But 
that's a thought, right? And and that's, yes. there's nothing wrong with this. It's like, yes. hmm, you know, barbecue sauce seems very expensive. So in reality, I'm not really getting these three free ones because those <laughs> two ones are just raising the price. <laughs> this is a thought, a thought yes. process, but yes. it doesn't have to do with individuality. Got it, got it. And it's quick and over. It's not like you're sitting there at home saying, hmm, should I have bought those barbecue sauces? Or, uh, <laughs> no, it, it, it's just, it, it's spontaneous. There's no magic. There's no like suddenly, okay, now that I know myself, no problems in the world, everything's wonderful, everything's good. Mm. Life is going to continue to life, but you're outside of it now. You know this. Something happens, okay, in the moment, you respond, spontaneous action in the moment, and then you forget. You do your job, do your duties, take care of your responsibilities. You don't need to go around telling the whole world that you know yourself in a real sense. Why don't they? Because how does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> like, oh, I know myself in a real sense. It's too bad you don't. But <laughs> I know myself in a real sense. There is only that. And that you are. Hmm. Whether that is pretending in you to be something other is okay, that's fine. Because hmm. it's all within the bubble of illusion. The only things that can be known are within the bubble of illusion, the consciousness. I take a little piece of this consciousness, I say it's my individual consciousness. When I say I take a little piece, it means I identify with the flow of thoughts. Yes. When I know I'm not a body, how are thoughts contained in this little egg-shaped space? I'm not body. Flow of thoughts is what? World is what we call flow of thoughts. When you know yourself in a real sense is formless, oh, it's like a dream. There's a little dream character that I've identified with to look inside this dream and see all these other dream characters. But the dreamer is my own self. And the waking up is the knowledge that I am not body, I was not body, I'm not going to remain the body. Just like when you wake up from a dream, entire dream world is dissolved. You don't try to go yeah. back into it. You don't try to take anything out of it. You saw no gain, no loss. Yes. Even if you dreamt for a long time and, and you had a whole dream life, you're not going to wake up and be like, oh, my God, like, I, how did it end? Or, or you know, what, what happened? Or, no. And you can't say, oh, it didn't benefit at all. In the moment, there was that. Just things occurring spontaneously. So, mm -hmm. you know, because you're not dry. No one sits there and types a dream. Types yes, of scenery, yes, like, yes. like if we were making a movie yes, and we, yes. we type, okay, the script and all this yes. kind of stuff and set this, it's boom. And that's the same as here. Waking. In the waking consciousness is the same. Boom. That's it. Identification for a time, my life. You know yourself in a real sense. No, there is life. There's no individuality. And now I just do my job. Do my duties. There's no birth, no death. Mm. Whether this body is here or not matters not at all because I know myself even as presence. I know this body, whether this body's here or not, presence is. There's just no knowing of presence because there's no instrument to, of, <clears throat> of, of knowing this knowledge. Yet the knower is there because the sense of existence, knock, knock on the door, who's there? Nobody's there. But somebody had to be there. You know the sense of existence because you exist. If there was ever a time you did not exist, the sense of existence would not appear to you. Mm -hmm. But you're the reality on which all of this illusory existence appears. Then you identify with the dream body and you say, oh, this is my life. John, the 
people around you, like as friends around you, they see any thing different in you that can brush them. Something good happens to them. So I don't know the way you, the way you conduct yourself, has an effect on them also. It should, I think. You know, I'm you know, especially with the program that I talk about, without naming it, because it's supposed to be. Oh. A I'm of service all the time because that arises. Like there's no mm. individual me doing anything. Mm. Mm. This yes. body is moving about. And yeah, yeah, they're speaking and listening the same, you know, in a meeting or somebody comes and they need listening or, or they ask questions or whatever. All this is spontaneous. Yes, there is a, within the bubble of illusion, you could say that it's evident that there yes. is knowledge flowing. Yes. 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 And some will say, like, oh, the, the presence is very strong, or you're very peace yes. environment. I like sitting next to you because there's yes. peace. But yes. again, this is all within the bubble of illusion. And and, and it's just a play. Yes, yes. But especially because of our program, like a lot of people are meditating. A friend just came the other day and said, you know, I started asking myself, who are you? Because th th there there yeah. was this presence that he was feeling through the meditation. He's like, who are you? Who are you? And he said, then it got very deep. But I got a little bit scared because yeah. like in his religious upbringing, he uh, is afraid that like false spirit or false something. So yeah. there's still some concepts there. And you listen and I speak about all the time that, you know, this sense of presence is the guide. It's like a rudder. Yeah. And while holding this body form, you can feel like if you start to do some things that are not exactly the right thing, the yeah. sense of presence pulls. You're no longer aligned. Because why? Because you start to build up these illusory layers on presence. And you start to, to build the dam of me to block the natural flow. Yeah. And so this is Oof. just this. And, and you can, you know, in our program, we say pause when agitated or doubtful and, and this sort of thing. I'm very blessed in that because of the program, I can speak about spirituality at different levels continuously throughout the day, basically. Uh, you, mm. you know, when I'm going to meetings and I'm doing these things and I'm sponsoring people, people call on the phone and, and it's not just like my friend, he said, Oh, I should join one of your sessions. I said, well, maybe that's not exactly a, a good thing because ours is very specific, mm. you know, from a specific lineage and we well, speak yeah. a certain way when I'm speaking with you, I'm speaking more along your way, just like, mm. A long time ago, uh, not a long time ago, but, uh, oh, I forgot his name again. Darn it. He was with us for a while. I think he, he got confused when we started switching and not doing every week. Oh, oh. Um, he's from Arizona, though. And, and he was a Jesuit priest, and he recommended uh, the presence, what is it, practicing the presence of God by Brother Lawrence. You're talking about Andrew. Yes, Andrew. <laughs> thank you. Yes. So practicing the presence of God allows the same, but through the conceptual lens of somebody more in like Catholicism or more trained in this way, so that you're aligning and still saying everything the same. Mm. And you can feel that, you know, truth is felt when... yes. Yes. We're holding this body form. There is a flow. There's a natural just flow that, oh, yeah, there's no speaker and there's no listener because there's nothing here crunching and saying, I am Sri John or, you know, Guru Putra or bow to the <laughs> masters or any of this sort of thing because there's nothing here. Yes, yes, yes. This is so known. It's there's yes. just nothing. Yes. And so in this illusory existence, yes, it, it moves around. 
I remember when I was first coming into the program, before all of this, before Maharaj, before everything, and I said to God as I understood God, I said, please let me, as I'm walking, let flowers and good, happy things grow behind me, but let me never turn around. Mm -hmm. That was uh, because I was very much into St. Francis at that time, oh. and, and it was like, that image came to mind of walking and a mm. flower garden grows behind you, you know, luscious mm. green, mm. everything, mm. but you never turn around. Meaning you never take credit. Because of me. That's exactly. That's, got it. Everything is flowing. This is nothing more than a body instrument that's used yes. by the master. Yes. Wow. And this is... When this is so known, then everything you do is is a is a blessing, so yes. to speak. I think Shri Meshwar Maharaj talks about that. Even the ants become realized by eating the crumbs of a table of a realized one it type is. thing. So there is just this flow, this very mm -hmm. natural flow. So these meetings you have every week, or I mean that every day. Work? Oh, you, I wish I could attend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. But see, a lot of times I just go and I sit quietly. These are the AA meetings without huh. saying that. Oh, part. okay, but God. You, you're sitting there and you're listening to people and sometimes people will come and talk and and you're available to be of maximum service in any way. God, Making the God. coffee, putting books away, whatever it is, you just, God, it's God. just flowing. But you're, yes, yes. And sometimes you're sharing and sometimes you're not sharing. And again, so, it's spontaneously yeah. speaking in the moment. The, the presence, the innocent presence you have itself does its job, I feel. Yes. So, it just... So they're all lucky, those people. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like I said, it does, it does shine through, yes. Yes. And... This is another thing I remember when I spoke to Maharaj that I was very blessed with the fact that this body cannot bring alcohol of any kind because the Ooh. desire to drink comes and I'm ruined. Better. And therefore, this egoistic sense that was the disease that would desire and crave, it's a blessing in a way because you can go and know yourself in a real mm -hmm. sense and not transform it egoistically yes into i am that you, you know it's yes, a, yes yes and and i did i i talked to maharaj about that when i was in nashik that it was like it, there's this realization that hmm. humility is going to be a natural thing because you're not there it's and not as long as you're yes, not yes. creating this sense yes. of yes you know, because even, yes. I, you know, like Maharaj, when people bow to his feet, he knows you're not bowing to my, it's two bodies, one being. Yes, yes. And and there is no, and, and if for some reason that flow of thought comes, oh, look at all the people, how wonderful everything's doing, all this sort of stuff. This is ruining the spirituality because you're creating this something 